close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Start with a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. Notice how that feels. If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Make it shorter, more shallow, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Experiment to see what feels good right now. As for any other thoughts, you can let them go. We're training the mind here to stay with one object. So anything else that doesn't relate to the breath right now is not important. What's important is getting the mind trained. Because the mind, when it's untrained, can cause a lot of suffering. When it's trained, it can cause a lot of happiness. We should have some respect for that ability. You may notice that we do a lot of bowing around here, showing a lot of respect to the Buddha. Well, it's because he shows us how to respect what's worthy of respect within ourselves. Our desire for true happiness and our ability to find that happiness. He's not saying that true happiness is impossible. So content yourself with whatever you pleasure comes by or whatever the media has to sell. Because that's the message you get from the media. Forget about true happiness. Buy our stuff. But the Buddha is saying, no, true happiness is possible, and you have it within you to attain it. And it begins by training the mind. So you're showing respect for yourself, you're showing respect for your mind as you meditate, taking good care of the mind, because it will shape the rest of your life. There's a lot of power here in the mind, so make sure that you use it well. You have to start out with some basic, basic skills. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind. Alertness, the ability to watch what you're doing. And ardency, it's the quality of mind that wants to put your whole heart into doing this well. As you develop those three qualities, you can apply them to any task in life. But in particular to this issue of how do you find true happiness? A happiness that doesn't change, a happiness that doesn't turn on you. A happiness that doesn't cause any harm to yourself or anybody else. And it starts right here. So as you meditate, try to do it every day. It's a way of showing respect for yourself, bowing down to your quality of a hum as a human being to find your happiness. For as the Buddha said, if a person lives without something that he or she respects, that person is going to be miserable. You've got to find something you respect, so here's something good. So, something that's true all the way through, and something that you can test for yourself to see if it really is worth your respect. But those who have shown respect to the Buddha in the past and through the practice all come away saying that it was well worth the effort. <laughs>